Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Cinch. Specifically, we're going to start with setting up all the hardware you need um, to get started with Cinch. So just to back up, um, Cinch operating system solves a few problems with Wi-Fi. What you're essentially going to do is connect directly from uh, the computer or tablet or phone that you're trying to control your Raspberry Pi with to the Raspberry Pi. What we're going to do is use a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle, and that will throw out an, a Wi-Fi SSID called DEX, D-E-X, that we'll connect to or like log into from our, uh, um, our computer or our phone uh, or tablet. So I've got a few things to get started with. I've got a Raspberry Pi. Uh, this is a Model 3. You can use a 2, a B, B plus, a, um, a Raspberry Pi Zero as well. Um, we've got a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle and the Cinch operating system will only work with the Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle. Um, and we've got uh, a micro SD card with Cinch burned to it. So it's got the Cinch operating system, which as I said is a little bit different um, than Raspbian for robots. Um, and finally I've got uh, USB power. So first step is I'm going to go ahead and just set this up hardware-wise and that just requires putting the Wi-Fi dongle into the Raspberry Pi and the SD card into the uh, Raspberry Pi on the back side. And that's pretty much all you need. You, you should have the robot built, uh, whether you're using the Grove Pi or the Brick Pi or the Go Pi Go already. And finally, we're just going to power it up. And what we'll see after we power it up are the normal turn on of the lights. Uh, we'll see the ACT lights start to blink, the power light is on there, and it's solid. And we'll give it a, just a minute or two, and we'll start to see a light in the Wi-Fi dongle actually turn on as well. Cinch actually can take a minute or two to start up. It takes a little bit longer to set up the Wi-Fi access point. Great, and now we can see the uh, Wi-Fi uh, dongle is starting to blink there. And if we go onto our Wi-Fi uh, network search on our computer or our phone, we'll see the uh, uh, new Wi-Fi network called DEX, D-E-X. Okay, so at this point, I've got the hardware set up for the for Cinch. I've got the Raspberry Pi sitting on top of the Raspberry Pi robot, the Go Pi Go, and I've got a Dexter Industries Wi-Fi dongle in. You can see, you may not be able to see it in the video, but there is a uh, sort of greenish LED that's blinking, and we know that Cinch is set up. It's running on the SD card, and it's uh, broadcasting a Wi-Fi device. I've got a standard Acer netbook or Acer Chromebook here. It's an Acer C720. Um, this will work with any Chromebook, but for this purpose, I'm going to use the uh, Acer Chromebook. And right now, I'm connected to the internet, so you can see down uh, on my Wi-Fi area. I go ahead and uh, pull up Wi-Fi. I'm connected to my local home network, but I can change that when I look at the. Uh, Wi-Fi devices that are listed, DEX is actually showing up. So I know that um, the Raspberry Pi is broadcasting the network called DEX. If I click on that, I should be able to connect. It says I'm connected. And I'll go back to Chrome. And here I can type in 10.10.10.10. That's 10 period, 10 period, 10 period, 10. And that pulls up the Raspbian for Robots homepage. I can choose VNC or Terminal. If I click on VNC, I should get an opportunity here to type in my password. And the password here is robots1234. Robots1234. It's your standard password. And there, I'm in the, uh, the system setup. I can go ahead and say run Scratch if I want to. If I double click that, I'll get Scratch. And here I can enter in and start programming or I can run terminal and should be able to access terminal with uh, 
yep, with the keyboard. So now I'm all set up and I'm directly connected from my from my Chromebook um, to the Raspberry Pi uh, running Cinch.